My name is John Hankey. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Niantic and Everyday Explorer. I'm a father of three and like many parents, you know, struggle at times with pulling my kids away from screens. So I was trying to combine maps and games into something that would get us outside together. So the idea for Pokemon Go came from April Fool's joke. An engineer back at Google, he's here at Niantic now, Tatsu, put Pokemon on top of Google Maps. It was kind of a surprise. And we felt like there was a whole game there. The future of AR will, I think, get the phones out of the way for us and help us use technology in a more natural way. Oh, I'm obsessed with Ingress, Pokemon Go, and a, and a Harry Potter game. The next frontier for immersive gaming is less immersion and more real world. We're trying to get people out of their screens and out into the world and engaged with one another. We're doing a game called Harry Potter Wizards Unite, so it will be out later this year. We're really careful about that. Not being an ad-supported company, we actually don't collect a lot of information from our users because we don't need to. Basically, the only data we collect is what's necessary to operate our game and to enable that kind of experience. I think some regulation of AI is not a bad idea. Generalized intelligence is maybe pretty far out, but a computer that could sort of pass the Turing test and convince us that it's a human, like I think it's plausible that we could get there and it makes me concerned a little bit. I've gotten really interested in ocean conservation. They're the primary sink for carbon, as you may know. So they're really important in terms of being part of the life cycle of the planet uh, and under a huge amount of stress. So kind of what's bad for the oceans is generally bad for people. It was a real surprise to see people starting to post weight loss photos when they were playing the game. It became clear that a lot of people were getting value out of it as something that was helping them exercise more and be more healthy. I think it's a huge problem that many of us uh, spend a lot of time indoors. We go home from work, watch TV, and our games get people out. We do a thing called Community Day every month, and just to see people from different walks of life meeting and talking to one another, I think that's hugely valuable. It's not an intimidating game. You can come and just start enjoying it within like 30 seconds. It's also very broadly appealing, I think, because you're not gonna come in and like immediately get defeated by somebody else. So we wanted to retain that accessibility and kind of friendliness of the game. I remember at the first GoFest meeting a group of players who had traveled all the way up from Kansas City. So it was about 20 people that had basically driven halfway across the country to attend the event together. I thought that was really awesome. I love going for a walk like in the Redwoods. It's probably my favorite place to get recharged. There's great energy from that. I've got to go with tentacle. I like cephalopods. Tentacle is a squid, so really interesting creatures. Catch if you're talking about the long term. I think there'll probably be some bad ones in the short term. Haptic chairs, trade. Daleks, catch, definitely. Daleks are awesome robotic creatures but they're trying to take over the universe, so I think we have to get behind that. Ocean cleaning robots, trade. We should not put trash in the ocean in the first place. Long walks on the beach, definite catch. And if a giant ocean squid were to take on an intergalactic Dalek, Win. The squid's definitely going to win because they're super smart. So it would have a massive brain and they have tentacles. 